In this video, I'm going to explain the sneaking skill, which is a skill in World 6. And I've already made a video on this, but I've learned more things, so I wanted to update the guide. If you haven't watched the original video, that's fine, because I'm going to go over everything again. So, you come to World 6, and here you can access the sneak in menu. Or you can also do it in the quick ref, once you've unlocked that. So, open the window here. This is what it's going to look like when you first start out. You're going to have one character down here in the safe room. And the goal is to progress through the various stages. As you can see here, this is the first stage, this is the second stage, and there's even more after that. In the safe room, you cannot be knocked out, but if you move to different stages, you're going to be able to have a chance of being knocked out. For me, since I'm such a high level, I have 0% chance in the first stage, and the second stage didn't be knocked out. So I cannot be knocked out at all, but you can see here I have a 50% chance of being knocked out. So you, you want to get them out of the safe room as soon as you start, because there's no point staying here. They can't be knocked out, but... Okay, they do gain a little bit of XP, actually. But it's a very small amount. So, and you're also not going to get any Jade Coins. Um, so the Jade Coins are very important. This is how you're going to progress your sneak in. So you definitely don't want to keep them in just a safe room. So, like I said, the goal is to progress to the highest stage you can, but to do that, you're going to have to break through these special doors that look like this. Right here, it's going to have a health bar, and the way you break through the doors is with an item. Um, it's this item right here, the nunchuck. There's different kinds of nunchuck, but they basically all do the same thing. And to get the nunchuck, you can see you can get it right here from the first stage. There's all kinds of other items you can get here too. So just take a look at them as you get them. But once you get the nunchuck, then you can start breaking through the door, which is going to be right here. Breaking through the door is going to unlock the next stage for you. And there's likely going to be a new character you can get in Sneakin. Because you're only going to start out with your first character, but you'll be able to unlock all of your characters as you progress. And just like with the door, you have to untie the character that you're trying to save, and you untie him with the kunai. Now there's different levels to all of these things. Um, like you can see the nunchuck, I have plus 19 here, and that does 1,000, 1.18 thousand damage to the door. But a higher level nunchuck will do even more damage, and then the same works with the kunai. Higher level, then the quicker it'll untie them. So you're going to start in this area, and the things to notice here. First of all, there's a timer that says 44 minutes here. So when that timer runs out, then the character is going to get Jade Coins, XP, and if applicable, they'll have a chance of being knocked out. So as long as your chance, as long as this percentage here is above zero, then you have a chance of being knocked out. Every time this timer counts down. Now, if the character gets knocked out, then they won't be able to do anything for two hours. So they won't gain any Jade Coins, and they won't gain any XP for two hours. This action timer always starts at one hour until you reduce it. There's ways you can reduce it in the shop here with your Jade Coins, but by default, it will always start as one hour. 
So since being knocked out is very bad, as I've said, you don't gain anything on that character until they completely recover and the two hours have passed. So lowering this percentage as much as possible is going to be very important. Now, the Jade Coins, you can see this is how much you'll get on this character, as well as the XP. And then you can see your total Jade Coins right here. And when you get an item, it'll just show up down here. And you just click on it, and then it, you'll have a chance of getting an item. So it's not guaranteed, but you'll just have a chance. And the longer you wait, the greater the chance. You can even get more than one item at a time from the same character if you've waited long enough. So that's basically sneaking in a nutshell is you want to break down the door with the kunais, or not, not, not the kunai, sorry, with the nunchucks and then go to the next stage and then you're going to unlock your next character with the kunais. And you want to get to the next stage because it's going to give more jade coins and more XP. So, and you can see once they leveled up, then it's going to show this message here, level up pendant. So once they level up, then you need to log on to that character for them to actually level up. And as far as I know, the XP doesn't roll over. So if they're ready to level up, I don't believe they gain any more XP until you actually log into them. But I could be wrong on that. Um, but I'll go ahead and just show that real quick. If I log on to this character. Um, okay, so his sneaking should have gone up. Okay, yeah, there you can see. So the little eyeball that was sneaking. So that's just showing that his sneaking level went up. And then, like I said, you can also access it in the quick ref. Once you've unlocked it, and you unlock that in the Jade Emporium, which is right here next to the sneaking. So here you can also just spend a lot of your Jade coins to unlock various different things. Uh, you can see the very first one is the quick ref, so it's quite cheap to get the first one anyway, and I would recommend doing that. Now, going back to the window, there's a lot more to talk about here. So, okay, so like I've said, you want to keep your chance of being detected as low as possible, really. Ideally, 0% is the best, it's like that's the lowest you can get it, but honestly if it's at 0%, then you're probably just ready to move on to the next stage. Um, but on the flip side, if it's very, very high, then you're probably trying to progress too fast and you might want to go back a stage just so you're not like... So you're not wasting a bunch of time, and they just keep getting knocked out, and you're not getting anywhere. So generally, I like to keep it in the de low detection range you can see here. Um, but it can be worth it to even be on a mid-detection range, especially if you're, if you're working towards knocking the door down or getting a new character. That can be worth it sometimes to be in the mid detection range, but you should never try and go in the high detection range because you're just almost always going to lose and not get anything. Um, but you just need to sort of weigh everything together to make that call. Like, how long is it going to take for you to break down the door? Um, if your nunchucks aren't good enough, then it could take a very long time. So you just need to take all these factors into consideration when deciding if you're going to um, 
risk it with a higher detection chance. Now moving into um, the upgrades. So this is where you can spend your Jade coins on a bunch of different upgrades. That'll make your sneaking a lot better. You're going to start out with this one. Um, and this was a big thing I got wrong, I feel like, in my first video. So I wanted to correct that here. Um, so I still think it's very important to prioritize this one and the Jade Coin one and the XP one. These are your three most important ones. Um, however, it is also good to just spread your coins around to everything, eventually anyway. But first let me talk about why these are the most important. So this gives you stealth per sneak and level, and this will lower your detection chance. So as I've said, this is lowering your detection chance is like the most important thing you can do because if you're detected, then you just don't get anything for two hours. So you really want to try and lower this chance as much as possible and getting more stealth will lower that chance. This gives you more Jade Coin per sneak and level. This is very important because more Jade Coins means that you're going to be able to have more coins to spend here as well. So you're going to be able to unlock all of these other things and level these other things much faster. And the last one, bonus sneak and XP. This is really good because a lot of the things here are based on your sneak and level. Like this one and this one, these are both based on your sneak and level. So if you can raise your sneak and level, you're going to get more coins and you're going to have higher stealth. The rest of these are also very good and you just kind of need to read through them. It depends what you need at that time. If you need to untie somebody, then focus more on the kunai. If you need to break down a door, then focus more on the nunchuck. The accessory ones, or the charm ones, are always useful because every stage gives a charm. Um, the item find chance one, that's always good. Every stage has items you can get. This knockout one, initially I had said that this is not very good because I had thought you could just avoid being knocked out entirely, but really that's not a reasonable way to play. As I've said, it can be worth it sometimes to go with a low detection chance. So not a 0% chance because if you're at a 0% chance, then you're probably just at too low of a stage and you could probably go higher than that. But so this will help you if you do get knocked out, then it's not going to last as long. Um, and then there's just other ones here. You just read through them all. They're all going to be useful at some point. And the way the the cost scales here, um, you're going to want to sp spread out your jade coins. You can see this one cost me two million, and this cost me ten million. So I don't want to just hard focus on one ability because it's going to get very expensive. It's good to like spread up spread out your coins across all the abilities. Okay, now moving on to the items. So this is where you can see all your characters you've unlocked and all your items that you've had that you've gotten. So you can just read through each item. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. But um, okay, so for the nunchuck, that's only for breaking the door. And you can see I have the nunchuck on most of my characters, even though they're not in a stage with the door. Because it, it doesn't matter, actually. You can have the nunchuck or the kunai equip in your weapon, and it, it won't do anything unless there's like a door to break or a character to untie. Otherwise, it, it just doesn't do anything, so... 
There's no harm having it. Uh, so that's your weapon slot. You can either have the kunai or the nunchuck. And then you have a hat slot, which is just cosmetic. And then you have two charm slots. Um, so just looking at a few that I have here. And I don't have all of them by any means, but these are the ones that you're going to get first. So the Jade Coin one, this gives you more Jade Coins. This is useful to have on every character. You'll just get more Jade Coins. This one gives you more Sneak and XP. And it's tripled if there's no other ninjas on that same floor. So if you unlock a new character, this can be very good to throw on them. That way, um, because they're a new character, so you're not going to want to put them in your highest stage you've unlocked because their sneaking level is going to be very low. So you're going to want to put them in the first stage. That way, you can also throw this belt on them. And since there probably isn't anybody else there, they're going to level much faster. The gold eye, this gives you more sneak and XP on all your characters. So you want one character to have this. You can't have multiple. The same thing with the gold coin, but for jade coins. You want one character to have at least um, one gold coin, so all your characters get more jade coins. The scroll of power, this gives you more XP, coin, and stealth, but only for one character. And you can only have it on one character. So I can't, can't put that on here. It'll just say you can't have two. Um, but yeah, you definitely want to have one of these once you get one. And then uh, the meteorite, this will give you more item find chance, but that character will get no sneak and XP. So this can be good if you're at a low stage, especially, where you wouldn't get much XP anyway. You just want the item. Okay, now we're just about done here. Just going over a few options here. Show our display. I still don't know what this does. Um, you can see here, if I, it has something to do with this. You can see here, 4.86 million jade coins an hour. But then when I turn it off, it says 8.17, which is nearly double. So. I really don't know what this means, but if anybody knows, then just tell me in the comments because I would like to know as well. Because it really doesn't make sense to me right now why it shows two different values here. But anyway, moving on. So this one, hide loot tables. This will just hide the loot in each stage. So I guess if you just have every single item and you just don't care what each stage gets, then you can just hide that. Um, but generally, you just want to have that off so you can see the items. Auto trash bad items. So this is something that I recently tried and learned about. Um, so if you have this on, it seems to me that it will automatically get rid of items that are three levels lower than your maximum but only new items so if I turn it on now it won't do anything but when I get a new item so let me show you what I mean here so my max level of charms is 10 so if I believe if I were to get a charm level 6 or lower it would just automatically be trashed um, there's no message or anything that pops up you just won't see the item you just won't get the item um, so that's my understanding of how that works but it's not just with charms it's any item and I believe it's based on your maximum of that item show sneak and level so um, okay that's actually in here so it just shows your sneak and level right here. So if I just turn that off, that's all it does. Hide player names. Okay, so that's in right here. 
yeah, you can see here. Okay, it doesn't show the name down here on the character. So that's just personal preference. Doesn't really matter either way. But it can be good to know like uh, which character is which, just in case they look the same or something. So that's pretty much it. And if you're wondering why I have so many Jade coins and I haven't spent them here, it's because I'm actually saving up for something in the Jade Emporium. Uh, yeah, I'm saving up for this. This will give me more Jade coins. And anything that gives you just more Jade coins is always worth it. Because then it's just going to make getting everything else easier. So even as much as I would like to upgrade all my various stats there and sneak in, I'm just saving up for this because it's going to make it that much easier. So that's pretty much it. I hope it was helpful.